All right, so I've talked about how to randomly generate coastlines and land masses um, by dropping little cubes like this on a map and then looking for interesting shapes. Um, but you can also use little cubes like this to help figure out um, other terrain features. I'm going to use this little map. Um, this is more effective with a really large map, but I don't really want to use up one of my big poster boards because um, I'm running out at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just use these, and I'm not going to drop them. Um, that ends up being too much of a scattered effect. Mountain ranges tend to be uh, run in ranges, of course, although sometimes there are regions of mountains as well. So it's usually more effective just to just get a bunch of these, put them on your map, and move them around until you look for interesting shapes. Now, what you're looking for is both interesting positive and negative shapes, positive and negative space. So you're looking so that the mountain ranges and the clusters of mountains and the mountainous regions are interesting looking. They, they form interesting shapes that you can imagine things happening in. But also the negative space, the areas without mountains and between mountains and between mountains and the sea um, can also form interesting shapes. That sort of allows you to, it makes your continent feel more um, alive with possibilities. Yeah, that's the way I feel. I'm going to take some more of these, move them around. Make this peninsula kind of mountainous. I like this uh, fairly mountainous region in the middle here. Um, that kind of seals off this area from the rest, although there's like a way that you could sort of skirt the mountains here. Maybe there's a mountainous kind of a pass through here, or a way that's just maybe hilly and easier to traverse. Um, just a few mountains in here. Maybe up more in that region. Um, this is a peninsula. Peninsulas tend to be at least somewhat hilly to show why they're sort of sticking out of the ocean. And this area is fairly flat, kind of a flat plain over on this side. Maybe with some hills, but mostly flat. Let me just add a little, couple mountains near the edge. Okay, that looks like fairly good to me. So then you can just kind of trace around where your bricks were so you don't forget where you put them. Create little zones. Do it, no, you know, not very dark, because you're going to have to erase this later. You can make some changes as you go. This area there, kind of a mountainy region going on here like this. All right. So then we have this region in here, region over here, region over here, good. I like the shapes that's created. That's the kind of the important thing here. Interesting shapes where you can have kingdoms or tribes or um, areas that you can imagine things happening. It's hard to describe, but that's kind of the key. If you find an area that just looks you know, cramped and there's nothing interesting nearby, it's creating an awkward shape, um, it can pose problems. The area can be kind of a dead zone for interesting geographical features or cultures to arise. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, and then of course once you've sort of picked out your areas, you can go through and use your favorite mountain technique to uh, add mountains. You know, whether it's just adding triangles to the area, or doing the technique where you make a squiggly line, then add. You can see my videos on mountain ranges. Those going through, or what have you. All right, that's my technique for making mountains using uh, little cubes. Though, remember, don't have to use little cubes. Use whatever is lying around and useful to you. I recommend Cheerios. Those work pretty well. Um, that's it for today. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, just subscribe down there, wherever it is. Um, like and add a comment. Thanks for watching.